Hi, this is Trip. Let's play Minecraft. A couple of questions to get out of the way first. I'd like to know if you lose your... Do you always lose your inventory when you get killed? No matter which version you're playing, whether it's the uh, easy, peaceful, normal, or the the hard level of difficulty because every time I get killed by a zombie or something the three or four times so far I've lost all of my inventory so maybe you can help me with that the last video I made was in was playing the normal level of difficulty and a, a spider or zombie I think a spider got me so I'm going to play in, in easy mode this time. As you see, I'm kind of going down the ladder of risk from from the hard to, to the normal to easy to peaceful. Also, by the way, is this music distracting? I like the Minecraft music. Uh, do you find that it that it complements the video or does it kind of get in the way? Interested in your thoughts about that and I invite you to subscribe and share with others and comment and like. So here we are. What I wanted to highlight today, oh, I need to reduce my, my video. I've got to remember to do that every time. I'm going to create a new, a new world for us to live in. It's going to be called Easy World. Easy world. Playing survival. Switching to easy over here. I'll create the world now. I'll tell you what I want to explore today is the there's a well there's a some kind of a setting in there where you can turn off the turn off the uh, the bobbing. It's or maybe it's called auto auto jump. So if I'm going through the world now, while well, it's turned off, so I'm climbing up something. Oh, oh, I can't get up. That means I have to click the space key to jump up. And what is this right here? What is this white stuff? I guess I'll have to harvest it to see what it is. Huh. It just breaks up. That's not what I'm doing here anyway, though, so... Let's say I'm trying to climb up here. that space key to get up here every time. Look at, oh, this is snow then. I've landed in a snow world. Oh, look at that beautiful, the snow is falling. Oh, look at that. This is the first time, even when, when I was practicing Minecraft, this is the first time that I landed in a snow world. I love this. I'm sure there aren't many resources. This 
it's hard to see where the edge is. See, it's control W to, to creep, right? Oh, that shift and control. moving too fast. Okay, it's it's press the, the W key and and uh, shift. Okay. How do I get down from here? Help. I think this is the way that I came. I love the snow world. So anyway, you see how it is then if I want to climb up something I've got to Press the space bar. I'm going to get out of here and try to go back to the game, to the settings. Maybe it's under keyboard and mouse. Auto jump. I'm turning on auto jump. I'm going back to the game. Oh, there's a cow, a nice friendly little cow. Moo. Moo. We had a bunch of cows on the farm. We had registered black Angus, a herd of those, and some Guernseys. So now I don't need to use the space bar. I have to get used to that. thinking it didn't work for a second. This is uh, much easier to move around. It's one less thing that won't distract me from playing the game. I think I'm going to leave it on auto jump. Since we're up here and we're just I was just showing you the auto jump. What would happen if I jumped into the snow? This is kind of a ledge here. It looks like it. I'm going to jump and see what happens. Well, it's not as bad as I thought. Okay. I was wondering if Minecraft would would cushion the the blow of the fall since there was snow. Anyway, like they say, it's not it's not the fall that will that will hurt you. It's the sudden stop. But that's all I wanted to do here was to pose a couple of questions and and talk about the auto jump. And I guess we'll, we'll call that a wrap. And all my best, and I'll see you later.